Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of The Med Life. Today we're doing something a bit different. It's the last couple days of summer, but I got something cool today, and so we're gonna do a little unboxing and talk about how digital devices are kind of starting to affect the medical industry. Should you have one? Should you use one? What's the benefit? We're gonna talk about it today. <laughs> All right, so what I got in the mail was the BPM Connect from Withings. Super excited about this. This is like a Wi-Fi um, connected blood pressure monitor. Will connect straight to your iPhone. Um, actually sold by Apple, so uh, super cool. They're saying, you know, it's medically accurate. I guess you're able to share these with your physician. Um, super easy to operate, so let's get it opened up and check out inside. Inside the box, again, BPM Connect. And it's right in there. Here is the charging cord that you would use, just a standard USB to, I believe, micro. There's an instruction manual in here, you should always read the instructions. And the actual unit, which you can see, is about the size of my hand. So it's super compact, it expands out, as you expect, into a normal blood pressure cuff. And you can obviously adjust the size here, you know, as needed. So let's get this put on and show you how it works, and then we'll talk a little bit about kind of the medical devices and uh, connectivity as we move forward in medicine. So I'm going to show you how easy this is to put on, um, and you can put it on yourself. So you just take the device, uh, just like this, kind of get it cinched through the loop pre preset. You'll slip it on your arm, just like this, like you would a normal blood pressure cuff. Pull tight, wrap around, and you're good to go. You'll see we just hit the battery once, and it comes up with blood pressure. We hit it again, and it will start to cycle. Now I'll tell you, uh, the cuff has been super accurate when I've taken um, readings, kind of sitting on the couch, relaxing as you're supposed to. You want to relax for about five minutes before taking your blood pressure, have your arm at the level of your heart. All of those are AHA recommendations. Um, and the best is to have an average. Um, but I've been moving around, I've had coffee, so this is going to be high, I can tell you. Um, but it pumps up, it doesn't get too high, it's really not as uncomfortable as like a hospital cuff. Um, and the material is actually really nice as well. So. We'll let this pump up, take its pressure, pump it up to get that systolic number, the top, and there you have it. So it's going to show 141 on 86, been moving around, like I said, you know, had some coffee, all things that don't exactly help keep your blood pressure down. What's nice is it'll tell you, uh, you know, this is obviously not an ideal blood pressure, and this will go straight to my app and you can check out your app on your smartphone. It will log all of the blood pressures in there, and what it'll do is it'll actually keep track of them, trend them, and then you could, of course, send that to your physician. So why connectables? Why wearables? Well, the truth is, moving forward, medicine is modernizing just like everything else, and everyone practices medicine differently, sees medicine differently, but I think there's a big industry for um, both patients and physicians in terms of like the telemedicine component. So you have a device like this, you have a patient who let's say has borderline hypertension. Now obviously going into emergency medicine, this long-term care isn't something that I necessarily do, but I've rotated in family medicine and I know how it is. You get a patient that comes in, they're borderline hypertensive, maybe they're in the high 130s. So you see them in the next visit and you just check up on them. You have them monitor their blood pressure at home. Well, how do you know they're actually monitoring the blood pressure at home? How do you know they're doing it correctly? X, Y, and Z. You teach them how to do it, but then a device like this, which is super affordable, you can give it to them and it will sync right to their iPhone. And that way when they come in, they just show you their phone and it's got a whole graph of trended blood pressures. And you can say, yeah, you know what? It's just white coat hypertension. It's when you come in the office, you get worked up, you know, your pressures are actually in the one teens at home. Perfect. They don't need blood pressure medication. But maybe they're showing up at 1.30 in the office and at home they're actually having episodes, you know, when they're checking their blood pressure after relaxing for 10 minutes and having the arm at the level of the heart, all of the recommendations, and they're still in the 140s or 150s, that's someone who needs to be started on blood pressure medication. So I think, you know, in terms of heart health and overall um, patient health and patient safety, these devices are really fantastic. And obviously, I'm sure you've seen in the media, there's devices that can do a basic EKG on your wrist. There's things for cyclists that will track your heart rate. There's scales that will, you know, connect and plug in that information as well. These are really, really helpful tools as we move forward in medicine to be able to see how our patients are doing at home. And obviously, the more of these things that we can see with a patient at home, the less we need to have a patient admitted to the hospital. I've really enjoyed having this device. Again, thank you to Withings for sponsoring this video and for sending me this device. 
Um, I've enjoyed it. I've actually had my mom try it out, my dad try it out. It works on all different size arms. Um, nobody's had a problem with it, and it will actually sync with multiple devices. I think you can sync with up to three devices. Drop a comment down below. How do you feel about the wearable medical industry? Do you have any wearable devices? Do you think that they help? Do you think that they hurt? As always, drop a like for me on the video, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.